CBSD with you. Tutorials on gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Okay, in this video I'm going to upgrade my main system, or one of my main systems, to FreeBSD 12.1. And at the moment I'm using FreeBSD 12.0, patch set 12, and... I've already backed up important things, configuration files and home folder, etc. So let's get the uh, ball rolling. First, I'm going to use FreeBSD update to fetch and install, if uh, possible, any system updates before we begin. It's not long since I've done this anyway, so I think the answer is going to be there's no none available. But it's always a wise idea to uh, to do that first. Yeah. No dates available, so that's fine. Clear the screen. And we use FreeBSD update again. But this time, we're going to put some new uh, entries. Instead of fetch and install, we're going to put upgrade, switch R, so it can, then it gives you uh, the chance to put in the, the release name you want to use. In this case, 12.1 hyphen release. And we're going. Now, this video is going to portray this entire procedure as a lot quicker than it actually is. This took a good few hours to do, and so I've chopped out any waiting time, uh, etc. Right, does this look reasonable? Uh, yes, you can answer that. Put a yes there, a Y there. Going through the motions again. Like I said, I've, uh, this will look a lot quicker than it actually is, but that's just for uh, video making. I wouldn't expect you to sit here for hours and hours. Right, okay. This next step is going to be a lengthy step, and so obviously I've, I've cut it for time. But now it's going to fetch the uh, the patches. Yeah, look, 47,975 patches, so uh, we could be waiting from here to the end of time to finish. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut using a fancy transition scene to the end. There we go. And I'm going to apply the patches, and this in itself takes a long time. So having cut all that out, just gone to the uh, to the end bit. The next part we run is FreeBSD update install. For the first time, we do this a couple more times after this. And now we install the updates, and yes, you can guess that this probably also takes a long time, which I've cut it out. Now we need to reboot the system. You can put reboot, but I like to put shut down. I'm going to go through the uh, the boot process, and thanks to the capture card, we can actually see it booting up um, properly this time. Just in case anyone wants to watch it. I don't know. I love seeing the text scroll up on the screen. There's something about FreeBSD that I... I feel like I'm at home with FreeBSD when I see the text. Some people like splash screens. Yeah, I like to see the text. Right. It's almost done. Go into XDM. Just gonna put my username. And password. Yeah, these aren't blanked out by myself. These are already like that. It's to stop anyone in the room seeing what I put in. Right. Uh, I'm booting to KDE. I normally use uh, Motif Window Manager, but I don't know. I've been ex I've been playing around with KDE for about a week or two. You know, theming it as best as I can, and I'll show that off in another video. 
It's like a FreeBSD theme that I'm working on. Right, this is a, an empty screen of the uh, KDE. And we'll use this for the terminal. Right, okay, let's move that about a bit. Go into root. Make it a bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Again, we wrote FreeBSD update install, and this will kick off the next part. Also, again, it's a bit, you know, time consuming, so we'll um, we'll fast forward. Uh, oh, had a bit of trouble sizing it then. That's a bit, let's make it full screen. Yeah, that's, uh, it can't find one file, but it's a test one, that's fine. Right, completing this upgrade requires removing all shared object files. Now, if this was a major update, say for instance, you're going from the um, 12 dot branch to 13, then you really need to recompile or rebuild everything. Uh, because this is a, a point release going from 12.0 to 12.1, and it still uses the same API, then we're gonna just gonna we're just gonna leave it. I'll just type uh, install, and that will kick in the next section. Yeah, I've I've installed plenty of times from the 12.1, you know, 11.1 to 11.2. That did throw up an Nvidia problem once, but yeah. Um, we shut down and reboot, and this will be the last reboot we need to do, and the last time in this upgrade that we need to issue the FreeBSD upgrade install. Yeah, I was talking to um, a good mate of mine who was debating whether or not he should recompile or reinstall all his uh, apps because he was upgrading his FreeBSD system. But no, I think the consensus is if you're doing a point release, then you don't need to. For a much better video on doing this and someone who actually is, is far more eloquent than I am, um, I'll leave a link in the description box down below to Duvalaki. 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 Hopefully I got that name right. Uh, otherwise known as Warren. And he he's done a video on upgrading and yeah, he, he's just the way that he delivers things is much better than I can. Right, so once again into XDM. There we are. Just open up a uh, console so we can see what we're doing. Make it bigger. Right. And this time, you name, it gives us 12.1, release, patch set one. And everything's nice, and everything's fantastic. It can be a lengthy process upgrading FreeBSD, but you know, I've never had a problem with it. Like the only time I did have an issue was uh, going from 11.1 .1 to 11.2, and that's because the NVIDIA drivers were an old style, but we got it resolved. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing, as this really helps me help you.